Hi and welcome back to my channel and my series on 90s novelizations. Today it's going to be the years 1991 and 1992. As we go into the 1990s, fewer and fewer novelizations were made due to the boom of the VHS cassettes in the 1980s. So we did to see a, begin to see a start of a slump within the 1990s of novelizations. So first up I have Hudson Hawk, starring Bruce Willis. Shy, sensitive, law-abiding, polite, respectful. I don't think so. I haven't actually seen this one myself, so I have no idea if it's any good. When you see these books out in the wild, sometimes you just have to grab them while you can. But if you can let us know in the comments if you think it's any good. And this one's published by New England Library. Let's have a look at the date, 1991. Looks like it's the first and only edition. I don't know if there's any other print runs. Next I have Terminator 2. Now this one probably deserves a video all on its own. I'll get round to that one day, I hope. And this one's uh, written by Randall Frakes, who also wrote the first one. And this one's uh, published by Sphere Books. No oh, nice colourful pictures on the inside. That's another thing that started to sort of deteriorate during the uh, 90s and less so now. Less colour photos. Next I have another novelisation. And this one isn't a film novelisation but a TV series novelisation. And it's Red Dwarf by uh, Grant Naylor, which is uh, the two names of uh, Rob Grant and uh, Doug Naylor put together. So this one's Better Than Life, which is based on partly the second series and the third series, because also Crichton appears in this. And as I do recall, the Better Than Life episode was the second series. And of course, Alien 3 by Alan Dean Foster. Now as you can see I've still got the tatty old copy, I haven't replaced this one yet. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and featuring my previous review. Next I have The Bodyguard by Robert Tyne, based on a screenplay by Lawrence Kasdan. This one's from 1992. Published by Signet Books. And, yeah. Okay, again, this is also a first edition as well, yeah. Next, I have one from a film I have not seen since I saw it in the, uh, in the 90s. And that is Universal Soldier. Starring Jean Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren. Now, I'm not a particularly big fan of either of their movies, but if I remember rightly, this film was actually quite good. And this is uh, a novel by Robert Tyne again, based on a screenplay by Dean Devlin. And if I recall correctly, this is probably, I think, this is the second time that he has worked with Roland Emmerich. I didn't realise it was the same director as Independence Day. Got a nice uh, Unisol logo in the top corner there. It's got a very sort of Terminator look to the cover there. <laughs> Lastly I have Basic Instinct starring Michael Douglas, a novel by Richard Osborne, which you may some of you may know, may not, but that is actually in actual fact Robert Tyne writing under a pseudonym. So it was quite common for writers to write under a pseudonym. And just looking at his uh, bibliography for 1992 and 1993, he wrote about eight novelizations. So I think he probably adopted a pseudonym just to cover his uh, cover his tracks a little bit and make it look like he wasn't spreading himself out too thinly. This is a trick that some authors use, such as Stephen King did in the, in the 80s with the name Richard Bachman. So, yeah, I don't think I've seen this movie. For quite some time now. 
possibly be worth a visit who knows and that is all for now thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you need, want to see any more future uh, novelizations on display from the 90s thank you and goodbye